there is understeer there is oversteer and then there's a four wheel slide through an unavoidable speckle of rubber marbles that have built up through a fast, prolonged sweeper a highlight reel of every other Indy 500 crash zips through my brain, as driver after driver goes offline, catches the marbles, and sails into the crunchy confines of the safer barrier but then, there is an awful lot to be said for doubt force. Four, even as its otherwise sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires struggle with the marbles, the 2018 Mercedes-AMG GTR continues to tenaciously hold itself to Portugal's Autodromo International do Algarve. The GTR isn't just an extra stein of power poured into the regular GT with some bigger, pricier brakes thrown on for good measure that was largely the AMG MUF yesteryear and, okay, it still has those, but with the R, you get extra vents, foils, ducks, and diffusers that all contribute to keeping the ultimate AMG GT adhered to Portugal through that grand corner. And, quite ideally, most of them are hidden away, preventing one of the most beautiful cars in the world from becoming an overall track day special. Those parts also provide plenty of faith to progressively feed and throttle as that long, final sweeper unwinds into Algarve's main straight as marbles kicked up from the car ahead pang, pang, pang off the GTR's long, long hood. The lateral G's first press me into the prominent bolsters of the optional AMG race seats and then into the fin backs. It's invigorating, but then comes the deep, guttural, nasty bellow of the hand-built 4.0-liter V8 massaged up to 585 horsepower courtesy new turbochargers with a higher boost pressure, plus a modified compression ratio, sharpened throttle mapping, and a modified exhaust, including an additional, center mount port. Mercedes says the entire combustion process has been retuned and the grand total is 82 more horsepower than in the AMG GTS.